After doing the backward method, we concluded that the best decision here is to not test market it locally, right? And uh, because it gives us the highest expected value, which is $270,000. Uh, one, one issue that we have here <coughs> is that although it has the highest expected value, this path, but if you go through this path, um, there is a still 45% chance that our asset position decreases from 150 to only $50,000. And uh, that's very likely. So for a company or, or an individual who is very risk averse, this may not uh, sound very pleasing. Um, whereas if we go through this path and we actually test market it, and if we see a local success, then we market it nationally, then there is only a 0.15 times 0.60, which is 0 0.09 chance that we end up at $20,000 we still have 91% chance that we end up with $420,000. That sounds more pleasing to someone who is very risk averse. Um, so we want to incorporate the utility function of the company to account for that as well. So here you see the decision tree again with the utility function of the company. All these rewards here are marked uh, on the utility function, so we know what is the utility of 150,000, 50,000, 450,000, and so forth here. All we have to do now is to replace these values with their utilities, and then use the backward method again to calculate the expected utility for uh, this decision tree. So in the next slide here, uh, we see that I replaced all these uh, final values with their utilities. Utility of 150,000, for example, is 0.48. And, and I use the backward method, for example, uh, 0.55 times 1 plus 0.45 times 0.19. And I got this value. And then between these two values, I marked this because this is a larger value. Um, I do that for all of this to doing the backward method and this time I noticed that the best uh, path here in the decision tree is to actually do the test market and if you see a local success um, market it nationally and if you see a local failure then don't market it so this is when we incorporate um, the utility function of an individual or of a, or of a company into our decision tree. Um, another important or interesting point here is that we just realized that the, the entire value or the entire utility of um, of this decision tree is 0 0.6649. Okay, so what was this whole decision tree about? It was about uh, uh, national marketing and in general marketing of a new product which was called uh, Chocola. So uh, if, if another company approaches us and says for how much for how much money you're willing to just forget about marketing this product. The utility of this whole decision tree is 0.6649. So I'm going to look at this utility function on the y-axis, utility axis, and find a point whose value is uh, 0.6649. And then read the value on the x-axis. That gives me $226,000. What does that mean? It means that... Um, the company who has this utility function is indifferent between doing this whole, uh, going through this whole mar marketing uh, effort and which has some benefits, some potentials. Um, uh, these are all potentials, the uh, increasing your asset position from 150 to 420,000. Um, and there are some risks. 
So they are indifferent between receiving 226,000 and doing uh, the local and then national marketing.